Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ready Steady Play. Hi guys. Hey Mike. Hey Mike. You alright? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. How are you? I'm good. It's nearly Christmas. Yes, it is nearly Christmas. Oh, I've uh, now put you in a timeline. <laughs> uh oh, yeah, you've dated the episode. Damn it, damn it. <laughs> I, don't, I think we're airing, probably airing the Christmas episodes at the moment, actually. Uh, probably. Do you want to start that again? Sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> <I don't care. laughs> Keep it casual here, Ready Steady Play. Um, no, I uh, well, we just had to uh, pack Ben off him, didn't we? We did. Ben was supposed ben to be here for this, but he was not feeling well at all. In fact, I was teaching in the game, and he kept sort of turning his he head kept, like, and, doing like, the... <laughs> and driving a bit. So, uh, Ben, I hope you're feeling better. I was gonna say, get well soon. And in the meantime, you've left uh, us to play Civilization: Indeed. A New Dawn by yourself. This is... Sorry. <laughs> it's a shot straw for you. <laughs> uh, whatever do you mean? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give it my best. I was, uh, I'm quite excited about this game. It looks cool. You've not played any of the video games. I don't think so. Not from... It, it doesn't ring any bells. So I used to play a lot of Civilization 2, which at this point in time would seem just ancient. Yeah. And super dated. Like proper mid 90s. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure this game has sort of come out in tandem with like Civilization 6. But I, I wouldn't know because I'm so busy playing board games now that I don't have time for video games anymore. I'm, so, I'm sorry, what's a video game? <laughs> oh, I love it. Do you need it. a console? <laughs> Do I need a console? Yes, buy me more toys, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is nearly Christmas. It is nearly Christmas. So, yeah, if anyone wants to send me a uh, Xbox or a PlayStation or perhaps an Oculus Rift. Uh, maybe you could send it to Ready Steady Play so I can play it too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we'll just be a VR channel instead. <laughs> yeah. Now, we're here to play board games today. We're going to play Civilization, and it's sort of like a, a 4X uh, game. It's I was learning the rules for this, and it was, it's actually a really weird marriage of sort of like complex and not complex because there's not much to it sort of mechanically but all the mechanics are quite thinky thinky yeah i was going to say they've got like sort of lots of little um sort of integrated parts to them lots of things going on that uh are quite They're quite complex they've got like multiple strands to them yeah exactly they, they just seem to have layers but yes. there's not that much overall you know compared to like a big forex game like imperial uh, Twilight Imperium or something. Okay. Um, but uh, so we'll we'll just have to see how it plays out. Okay. We've got uh, we've got six civilizations to choose from. Yeah. It can be the Japanese. That's kind of cool. The Romans. Ooh. It can be the Aztecs. Yes. The Scythians. I have no idea who they are. Well, they, 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 I went to see the Scythians. You because, did. Because uh, they had um, the Scythian exhibit at the British Museum which was sort of on loan from the Museum of St. Petersburg, but they are, in fact, the precursors to the uh, Mongolians and the Turks. So are they a massive they, Russian-Asian empire? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they were nomadic, um, and so I don't know how massive they were, but they took up a lot of space. Okay. Uh, they were horse. <laughs> they had lots of horses. They were all about their horses. They buried themselves with their horses. They uh they seem to really like uh drinking wine and smoking hemp. Mm-hmm. Seems good. Yep. And they lived about twenty three hundred years ago. Oh. Do you think there's a uh based on a television series that love horses not television like a, a group of people in a television series that love their horses? Oh, you're talking about uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they probably well could have been an inspiration for the uh Oh my god, I've blanked on it. The Dothraki. The Dothraki, that's right. It's what you get when you're up late yeah. editing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> There's also France. Viva France. And America, Teddy Roosevelt. Da, 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 There's a da, da, France, da, Catherine da, da, da. de Medici. Who is she? Medici. Uh, you did a history thing. Where's Ollie when you need him? And <laughs> uh, you can be Gilgamesh, who's um, who's uh, the one of the original guys. Ooh. He's like, uh, I think Gilgamesh, the legend of him, Gilgamesh was, and Sumeria was like the original peoples. But someone with better history knowledge can leave a comment below, enlightening me. You can even have some ready steady play points. Oh, ready steady play points. Uh huh. And ten, uh, ten points for the first person to tell me about them. Because my knowledge needs improving. 
Also, you can uh, go to Gilgamesh uh, Bar in Camden Town in London, and it's really expensive. <laughs> True story, when I was in Gilgamesh, this was many years ago, mm-hmm. uh, when I was cool and did things like that, I was having a drink with a friend of mine, and uh, we were in like a booth. And two uh, ladies came up to us, and they were dressed as angels. Nice. And they said, uh, we'll take you into a back room and give you a massage, and you can pay what you like for it. No way. And uh, Did my, you pay anything? My friend and I looked at one another, and he said, uh, we're all right, thanks. No. Yeah, and I was like, what? Are we? Oh, okay. So you didn't go. We didn't go. I know, I know, we're boring board gamer people. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you went, no? <laughs> he said no already. Well, the thing is, I, I kind of felt uh, like I had to kind of go follow with what, him. Yeah, follow him, and he was clearly uncomfortable. Wow. Um, whereas I would have been like, okay. if I have a massage from both of you, can mm-hmm. I still pay what I think it's worth? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would have said yes. Are you still friends with this friend? Um, yes. Yes, I am. Okay. So, so if uh, they're watching, they'll know who they are. I don't think they're watching. <laughs> but maybe. They might be. So the reason we haven't set up the board yet is because actually the way the game is set up is kind of also a competitive thing. See how I just... That's my, that's my flawless <laughs> segue. <laughs> flawless segue. Uh, just right back into the game. Enough of that story. Right back into the game. Enough of that funness. Um, or lack of it. <laughs> or lack of, yeah. So uh, we're going to use the advanced sort of map setup um, rules rather than... Um, the, the game just come with like a sort of a basic map layout for your first game. Ooh, but uh, uh, we, we are advanced level players. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So I am advanced. I am advanced. I keep telling myself this. <laughs> I'm an advanced and evolved human being. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> yes. I can, yeah. like, eat and breathe all on my own. <laughs> I enjoy blinking. Yeah. and um, So what uh, the way that works is that we'll take uh, four of these tiles, and they'll become our core tiles. We'll set those up in the middle, and then uh, we'll each get uh, a bunch of sort of remaining random tiles, and um, those core tiles have to have either a city-state or a natural, a natural resource. resource on them. Yeah. So um, they do have to all go on their A or B side, Michael. So why don't you roll a die? Mm-hmm. And if you get one to a three, we'll put a. it on the A side. <laughs> and if you get all four, five, or six, we'll put it on the B side. B side. Okay. Here it goes. Three. A side. A side. Okay. So that's an A side. So as is that. Mm-hmm. And this is an A side. Have I done this correctly? Yep. Yeah. Michael. That seems legit. Help, help me. Help me. I did it correctly. Yeah. There we go. The A side. There we go. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to give us each one of these uh, one of these capital uh, city tiles here. Capital Sorry, idea. I'm still in the mode that we're playing with three because Ben just left. And, uh, you know, now I'm worried that he's going to crash his car. Um, who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Please Get him safe, Ben. <laughs> Jesus. Um, okay, pick a number between one and four. Uh, four. Thanks, That's you. actually one. <laughs> That's <laughs> four. You said four and I completely ignored you. Uh, now pick a number between one and three. One. Great. So I'll have this one and you have that one. Okay. And uh, then now uh, we mix up the rest of these and get two each. Cool. I'm looking at our map here, Michael, and it looks like quite... Mountainous in the middle. Mountainous, yeah. And deserty. Yeah. I feel like it might be quite difficult. Okay. All right. So I've random up the rest of these tiles. So everyone loves One. a shuffle. <laughs> Three. Four. There Four. we go. Yeah. So uh, now we'll take turns. Now, I think we decided you were going to be the first player, didn't we? So why don't you place the first sure. one? Uh, okay. On the A side or the B side? Yeah, it's... Uh, so you can you have to play it under the following conditions. At least four tiles have to be touching, mm-hmm. and uh, you have to, if you can, you have to touch the core, core tiles. That's only three, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So it's got to be, I think, four on each. Yeah. So that's only three of your tiles. You see, that's the Correct. problem. I think. Now, if there, are, the thing is, you're allowed to have holes because we've got these lakes here that we can just use to fill up the holes. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 
So, uh, so long as four are touching, it doesn't actually matter if there's a hole in it. This, this, is, is, this, hard. Is, this is hard. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> Krypton Factor. Eat your heart. See, that's only free as well, isn't it? There we go. There you go. You did it. You've managed to make a desert. <laughs> Told you, by I'm an advanced and complex human being. <laughs> <laughs> what is this geologically, Michael? Uh, it's a, a desert natural, surrounded by forest. It's a natural wonder. <laughs> this would never happen. Ooh. Oh, no, no, it's a lake. I made a natural lake. Yeah, check you out. Is there a way I can place it where it looks more pleasing? Uh, if only it was near a desert. <laughs> You're a desert. <laughs> uh, that's only free again. It's probably why that's a rule. Yeah. So in the meantime, I'm gonna look for these. So uh, that's only free as well, isn't it? So we've got uh, one. Oh, hang on. Up there. And Cheeky. What about that? So that's your actually that's actually your capital as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's me funky little capital city here. Look, oh, it looks like St. Paul's. So my... you managed to put that on my bloody side of the table. Thanks for that. I know. Oops. I'm an advanced and complex human being. <laughs> what if I put mine here? We could be neighbors. <laughs> No, because I have to touch the core side, the core tiles, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so this is a core tile still, isn't it? Yeah. And in fact, I might just go and make friends with Geneva over there anyway. Because they seem to be a friendly bunch of people. Oh, man. I should have done that. So this is my core village. I want it to be blue. Instead, I'm aquamarine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the closest to blue that we get. Um. Don't do that. I'll hate you forever if you do that. What is that? That side is garbage. That side is garbage. I just don't. No, that side's garbage too. Do the other side. Uh, <laughs> what are you giving me the garbage tile for? <laughs> why did you draw the garbage tile? It's random. Why? Why have you? Why have you done this to us? Oh, that's rubbish. That's a city all the way over there. Yeah, that's rubbish. <laughs> But you've got to touch the core tiles if you can. Is that a core tile? That's a core that's a Yeah, tile. but that's not four. No, that's only three. Yeah. <sighs> this is hard. Oh, this is hard. Welcome to a whole episode of I'm setting up the my, tiles. Oh, my word. I'm really sorry. This is not fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> see, I Ready, can't... steady, yawn. Oh, oh, see, that is so lame. Um... And it doesn't really seem to touch the core tiles it enough does. either. Yeah, but... Uh, I could do that. I like the way you had it, but... Oh, that's better, I guess. And that does touch at least four, then. And then that can be a lake. All right. I think that's acceptable. Uh, that's not an agree. I think that looks <laughs> weird, doesn't it? It does look a little bit weird. But if I put it like that, it also looks weird, doesn't it? Actually, that kind of looks better. That kind of looks cool. Okay. I, just, I want it to be aesthetically pleasing, damn it. So I can either yeah, play kind of ruined that for you. another <laughs> mountain range with, uh, I think that's Mount Everest. Is that what that's meant to be, Mount Everest? Uh, sure. Well, I like Mount Everest, and I want to have Mount Everest over by me. I just want to have the, all the land over by me and leave you with nowhere to go and nothing <laughs> to do. <laughs> We're like, who am I? Where am I? What? Say what? <laughs> Let's say what? All right, cool. Um, and that's our that's our whole world. Yay, what are we going to call it? Uh, Mike land. <laughs> Mike Topia, yeah. <laughs> What a great place that would be to live. Oh, it's not Mount Everest. It's Mount Kilimanjaro. Ah. I've been there. Um, well, I'm about to conquer it. It will be mine. It's mine. <laughs> Where's that Kilimanjaro? No, that's not Kilimanjaro. No. That's, uh, that's Mount Everest. Right, you've got Everest and I've got Kilimanjaro. Okay. Uh, I th really? I think. Kilimanjaro is flat. Right. Because I've got a tabletop. 
See, that's oil, and that's not oil. That's uh... that's a diamond, right? This is oil. Kilimanjaro is here. Look, buddy. No, oh, that's no, a diamond, man. No, you've got uh, you've got Torres de Pain. Is that what that is? The... That? Sure. <laughs> Why not? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Oh, we're so good. Oh, that's Kilimanjaro. I've got Kilimanjaro ah, and Everest. See, that's the tabletop look. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So there's Kilimanjaro and Everest. Oh, you have all the mountains. Yeah, <laughs> man. And then you've also got uh, the Grand Mesa. Yeah, because I'm a Grand Mesa. But I'm right over there by Geneva and also making friends with... Uh, who's that? Uh, Brussels. Brussels. Do we have... Are they the only three towns? There's only two, man. Oh. And they're all my friends. Oh. This is not good for me. Think nothing <laughs> of it. Think nothing of it. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got some barbarians coming in. That's cool. They have to populate the board. Uh -oh. uh, why don't you put out the barbarians? I'll do the barbarians. You match letters for letters, and I'll do the, the resources. So, uh, the, the resources are for building wonders, which is pretty cool. I'm going to build all the wonders. That's how I want to win mine <laughs> mm, I feel like I'm putting a lot more of these near you than they are near me well you've got all the towns yeah I was too <laughs> focused on getting the towns and then I didn't realize the uh, I forgot about these Jeez, the actual uh, resources the actual resources you've got them all look at that wow yay go me look I'll just have to become Gilgamesh no Gilgamesh can turn out barbarians into natural resources using wizard's magic because he's, he's good like that He's good at wizard magic. Um, I think that's it, buddy. I think that's only the man. We were just playing on a bigger board with Ben, and then I know it's very confusing. It's, yeah, it's suddenly like it's like the whole world has shrunk, shrunk it's from. It's like we're borrowers. Look at all the barbarians. They're all gone. I know. Good. I don't at least like they're all over your part of town. I know. All right. So now that we've done that, we're gonna do uh, some uh, victory conditions. Now I don't know if you guys have ever played the original game, um, but I used to like to play on the biggest possible map with the epic victory condition on the hardest possible difficulty. I was of you did. pretty bad at it, um, but uh, it was the most fun in my estimation. So uh, uh, there's no rules for scaling the map in the game. You probably could scale it if you wanted to just put out more tiles. I don't see why you couldn't do that. But uh, we're going to play what's called the Epic Mode, which is a variant offered, where instead of uh, three victory cards, you play with four. Okay. And it just makes the game a little bit longer. So uh, our victory conditions are going to be Explore. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what you have to do is try and achieve one of the two goals on each of these cards. Are they put, oh, they're not double-sided. Warmonger and... Okay, so... We've actually managed to get all of the... Uh, oh, we didn't get the... Oh, damn it. These would have been good for me. Um, so Don't. what we've got here is uh, if you get... Um, the 15 spaces adjacent to the water at the edge of the map with control tokens on mm -hmm. um, or build two cultural wonders. Then you've got this one here which says get uh, 24 in your tech dial. So max out your tech dial or two science wonders. And then warmonger is uh, defeat one rival capital city or control two conquered city-states. Hmm. <laughs> um, or control two military wonders. Or build two military wonders. Um, well, you can steal your opponents, so you don't have to build them. You can just take your friends. And then also we've got uh, civilized <laughs> Technically they're here. not friends then. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just a game, Michael. So this one is have eight cities on the map or build two economic wonders. And those are our victory conditions. And we've got to achieve one on each card. And the first person to achieve one on each card will be the winner. Um, and the way that's going to work is that... Uh, oh, Egypt. I forgot to show them Egypt earlier. Uh, it's Egypt. Oh, cost of all your world wonders is reduced Dude, by one. one. That's great. That's great. Um, it's Egypt. It's <laughs> I want to be Egypt. Uh, so we got... Um, We've got to get uh, one one token on each of these cards, and uh, then uh, when it gets back to the first player's turn, which is Michael, uh, if anyone's met those conditions, they win. Mm -hmm. I believe the first tiebreaker is whoever controls the most wonders, and then the second tiebreaker after that is whoever has the most uh, control tokens on the board, but I might be misremembering that, so I will check it. Okay. 
So you do that. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is deal us each two um, leaders, and we will pick the leader we like the most look of. Come on, Egypt. So, at the moment, you are Red Civilization, and I am Turquoise Civilization. Turquoise. Aqua. Um, and we're about to go. Oh, we have to put this up as well. So this is uh, the token that tells us the direction in which the barbarians move. Its actual position is not really important. Yeah. Um... So, I'm trying to think of a way to do it so that it makes sense. But uh, it actually doesn't. I think it really could be anything. Um, Just make it good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you can have uh, that one, and I'll have this one, and you can have that one, and I'll have this one. Okay, buddy. Let's find out who we're going to be. Oh, interesting. Oh. So I've got America and the Aztecs. I've got Gilgamesh oh, and Japan. You got Gilgamesh, damn it. Uh, but mm. but you're the one with all the natural resources. I'm the one with all the natural resources. Decisions. When you gain or spend a natural wonder token, place it on any card in your focus row. Wait, how can I spend a natural wonder token? Well, I feel hmm, a Japan is uh, Divine Wind, it says as well. Um, oh, yeah, but they all have names. Um, so here we go. This is Japan here. Um, Divine Wind. And basically, it says, During my turn, desert and mountain spaces that are adjacent to water or on the edge of the map are treated as having a difficulty of three rather than difficulty of four or five. So that's kind of cool. But there isn't that much water on this board. Um, or, or the mountains in the desert aren't really near the edge of the board so I don't know how useful that would be to me so I feel like I'm going to have to be Sum Sumeria? Sumeria? Su Sumeria so all of these powers are actually really very strong at least in our estimation we found that so I think the way uh, America works is that when you build on these natural wonders you gain these tokens and they just come here on your board and they let you know that uh, each turn you can spend a diamond as though you had a diamond token without actually um, discarding the diamond token. Um, mm -hmm. And that's just each turn. So you could spend it as though you had it. But uh, what America can do is actually put it on one of their focus cards and then uh, spend a trade on that card instead of spending it as a, as a um, natural wonder resource. Mm -hmm. And what that means is that uh, it, you sort of, you can use... Um, what that means is you can essentially use the natural wonders as trade goods as well, make giving them uh, much more application during the course of the game than just being resources. Mm -hmm. And the Aztec is also really good. But uh, the Aztec is reliant on you being quite uh, warlike. Uh, when you reset your military focus card, if you won an attack this turn, then you can swap any two cards in your focus row around, which means that if there's one card that you really want to go for... You can do that. Uh, you can, uh, sorry, take that card and put it into the fifth slot, which is the best slot to be in, yeah. uh, to spend a card in. So that's that's potentially really strong as well. And uh, actually, the Aztecs are really tempting, giving this warmongering I was gonna victory say, condition. Correct, here. yeah. But I think also, given all of these wonders, that kind of makes the Americas really tempting too. Of course, uh, we've only got oil and diamonds on the natural wonders here. We don't have any uh, marble or mercury. No, they're only just in these little tokens, aren't they? Yeah, which is uh, a real pain in the ass, especially seeing as you're going to have Sumeria and all of those. Um, but uh, that also makes the uh, ability... I could take the natural wonder and put it on the industrial focus card and then spend... The natural wonder on the industrial focus card is a single production mm -hmm. instead of getting double production for the resource. Yeah. Which gives the Americas this sort of like extra wonder building power. So I think I will take Teddy Roosevelt. All right, Teddy. I'm going to be Gilgamesh. All right, Gilly. Gil is my name. Isn't Gilly from uh, Game of Thrones? He is. Sam's girlfriend? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just learned to read. <laughs> Ooh, spoiler alert. And you've had a baby. I have had a baby. 
So I start with masonry in my number one slot. Uh, I start with foreign trade. And then I go all the way up to uh, foreign trade is my number one. Oh, really? Is my number five, sorry. That's great. Uh, my Teddy Roosevelt likes foreign trade. So let's find out what uh, what uh, Geneva and Brussels do as well. So we've got uh, Geneva here. Astrology. Geneva's a science town. And it says, at the start of your turn, you may return one diplomacy card you've taken from another player. If you do, choose a different diplomacy card. That's interesting and kind of annoying. Um, because uh, you're the only other player. Mm -hmm. We have to get to you to do that. Then we've got Brussels. When you're building a wonder, reduce its cost by one for each of your mature cities. Oh, that's so good. What's that, sorry, buddy? Brussels is diplo diplomatic power. It reduces the cost of the wonders by one. That's great. God, I might just go for all the wonders. Just build a million wonders. I know. <laughs> well, let's reveal what wonders we're going to start with. So this is our uh, science wonder. And it's... Uh, that's not right. This is set up wrong. <laughs> This is what we want. The ancient one. It's the other way around, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, we've got the Oracle. Mm, the Oracle. At the start of your turn, you may swap two adjacent cards in your focus row. That's great. Uh, we've got to have... Then you've uh, got the other one. Right? Oh, we've got uh, the Great Lighthouse, which is our economic wonder. When building cities, you can build in empty spaces on the edge of the map as if they were within two spaces of a friendly city. What? When what? building cities, you can build in empty spaces on the edge of the map as... Oh, okay, so you can, so you can just come in from the edge of the map anywhere. That's great. Wow, jeez, that's powerful. Powerful. And then there's Petra. Here. Uh, Petra, when defending, increase your combat value by two. Barbarians cannot move into spaces containing your cities or reinforced control tokens. That's amazing as well. These are all great. And then finally, we've Love got them all. Hanging Gardens. At the start of your turn. You may place one control token on a space of terrain difficulty four or less that is adjacent to a friendly city. Oh my god! My, that's one of the things I've noticed about this game. It's like you think you get it, and then suddenly you see the wonders are all amazing. The civilization abilities are all amazing. These diplomacy cards are amazing. It's like all this really cool stuff that's going to influence the game that you can get and have to think about. Mm -hmm. but that's what I mean. Like It's not that many things. It's like it's wonders, it's racial ability, it's these... But it's only like three or four things to think about. Mm -hmm. But there are sort of... But there's so many different... Like you said... But they have such a significant impact on the game. And they're sort of intricate at the same time. I was going to say it's intricate because there's so many layers to them. Exactly. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm already lost. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, somehow, somehow, I don't know how, it's taken us half an hour to get here. So we'll have to come back tomorrow and kick off the game. I'm really sorry. I was going to do turn one, but... Uh, we're out of time for today. So thanks very much for joining us. And we'll be back tomorrow for round one of Civilization, A New Dawn. Wow. Can't wait. Can't I'm wait. excited already. <laughs> I mean, it makes no sense. America versus Sumeria. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I'll get you all. <laughs> <laughs> you capitalists. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> Anachronic, anachronistic swine. <laughs> exactly. Bye, See you tomorrow.